Today, plant tissue culture has been remarkably essential in agricultural biotechnology. It allows regeneration of a plant in an in vitro condition to occur. This process involves the differentiated cells to be differentiated into a callus and re-differentiated back to an embryo that is capable to regenerate the whole plant. An example of tissue culture is micropropagation. It involves six plants growing in a media under sterile conditions. The plant rejuvenation can be done by two different ways, either through somatic embryogenesis or shoot culture. The final phase to complete a tissue culture is the transferring to soil and hardening of plantlet. The hardening process is indispensable in the in vitro plant to adapt to external environmental conditions. In this video, we are going to show step-by-step -step procedure of seed surface sterilization, germination and hardening process. Firstly, there is preparation of MS medium for seed germination which are made up of macronutrient, micronutrient, gambigs, B5 vitamin and FENAEDTA after mixing all ingredients. The half MSO liquid medium is then microwaved and autoclaved. After the solidified of culture agar medium, it is ready for inoculum. The standard procedure for sterilization technique includes Dig and all the water inside the tube containing the seeds. Next, ethanol at 95% is added, followed by 20% bleach plus a drop of tween 20. Constant shaking for approximately 10 minutes is required to ensure complete sterilization. Seeds is then rinsed out with the water-claved water and left dry. Then, Seeds are inoculated into a conical flask containing the media afterwards. The flask containing the seeds are incubated in a well-lit area. After some period of incubation, seeds germination are to be expected. Further observation can be made on the morphology of the plant after few weeks later, ensuring it is ready for hardening. The hardening process is required to transfer in vitro plant but to the ex vitro environment. With the successful of hardening, the establishment of plant which is enable plantlets to grow up at fast rate next. The plantlets is undergo acclimatization and adaptation period to mimic in vitro culture environment such as covering plant in transparency of plastic bag to retain humidity and airflow as well as placing shaded environment for low radiance and to avoid direct sunlight. After four week of observation period, the plantlet had survived an obvious growth development of height and number of leaves. It had grew approximately 1.7 centimeters and developed a newer leaves. There are a series of ethical issues that we need to take into consideration in terms of plant and tissues culture. One of the important points that we need to emphasize on is the inequality in the society where some individual are not able to access to such technology. Other issues involves a competition between GMO and wild type and cross-breeding of variant. As for safety issues, there is a possibility that GMO may exhibit superior characteristics which may lead to allergic reaction. Thus, there may be a lack of genetic diversity in the population and this will wipe out the whole population if there is a new disease outbreak. In social responsibility, agencies involved in monitoring GMO must have strict review upon all GMO in terms of potential 
environmental impacts and the risk of allergens. As successful of seed germination and plant hardening, it could provide business opportunity on the agricultural field of vegetable and fruit plantation. Based on six characteristics, mass production at shorter time spend is the main characteristics. Using this technique, higher ratio of in vitro culture flask can yield more seed germination than the equivalent area of soil. Products can also be harvested in shorter time as optimum and control conditions is set to get high yield of production. It can reduce land usage by using greenhouse. This saves space and land by designing multi-stories greenhouse compared to the conventional plantation in which is using monolayer of soil. With lesser land to be purchased and smaller area to maintain, cost is safe. Moreover, it is cheaper in cost. Purchase and usage of herbicides and pesticides avoid. The preparing of defined medium will be cheaper than purchasing fertile soil for every germination batch. Furthermore, the viability of plant grow will be higher and thus more product can be harvested for selling. In addition, it can produce variety of plant at a time by making partition in the greenhouse as supplier. If there is more variety, buyer can just order and purchase straight from us without needing to go through other provider. This will create a win-win situation for both as bulk purchase will be given discount and regular customer will have special offer too. Imported fruits can be planted locally too with this technique. Environmental conditions can be adjusted to mimic the condition of the origin country to suit the growth and production. Importation and transportation fees can be safe and thus cutting costs and increase earning. Health is another issue when choosing food to consume for consumer. The products will be organically produced and toxic free. With this technique, we will able to provide not only cheaper food but also healthier diet to consumer by promoting organic food.